No, not in training because you've got 30 odd people trying to get in 11 spots at the minute. Um, so training's, training's been nicely intense. Actually, the coaches have sort of been telling us to, to make sure we control our um, intensity a little bit because uh, obviously if we come in and, and spike our workloads and, and get up to intensity too high, we risk, we risk injuries. So I think we're, we're trying to build up nicely into the, the warm-up game uh, which is Wednesday, I think. Um, but no, I mean, trainings felt, felt intense. I think the games will feel a bit different with, with no crowds, but also I think cricket is in a slightly different position to the sports like football and, and rugby and the fact that our domestic game in, in Red Bull cricket, a lot of the time we play in front of smaller crowds. So we're not relying on the atmosphere or the crowds to to drive us forward, to drive our skill forward and, and momentum forward. But international cricket, it certainly will, um, it will be more of a mental test to make sure that each player is right up for the battle. And I'm, I'm very aware of that. I've already spoken to our um, sports psychologists about creating a, a bit of a mindset around making sure I can get my emotions up to where they need to be for me to perform my best because I know that I'm not if you put me in a Ashes game or a pre-season friendly I know which one I'll perform better in um, so I've got to make sure that my emotions are, are uh, where they need to be for an, for, for an international test match and, and uh, that's something that I started working on in early June. We've got a group of 30 odd players here who've grown up playing county cricket, and we are used to getting ourselves ready for a day's play without big crowds for a championship game. So I don't think that should affect our rhythm too much. And my mum said something to me actually before I left. She said, Take yourself back to being a 12 year old kid, is when you, all you wanted to do was play cricket any way you could you know I've got I have a coffee in the morning overlooking a test match ground if you'd have offered me that as a 12 year old probably not a coffee like that then but I'd have been buzzing I'd have been so excited so I think you know trying to get that mindset of yes we're playing a test match for England but actually when you were a 12 year old kid you'd have done anything to play cricket you remember opening the curtains and it if there was a bit of rain on a Saturday it was like heartbreak you know, trying to have that mindset of, you know, this is, this is exciting just to have the opportunity to play uh, and have some fun. Um, and it actually gives you a bit of energy when you think like that. You know, think how many people, uh, uh, even just going down to the next level at county cricket, who would you know, jump at the opportunity to have what us 30-odd players here have got. Um, we shouldn't need anything else. Stokes has got a really good cricket brain. Uh, he's someone that's grown and matured incredibly over the last three or four years. And to come in and captain one game, I think he'll find very easy. And I don't think there'll be much sort of stress or, or pressure on him, to be honest. It's not like he's being judged over a long period of time um, on decisions that he makes. He's taking over Rooty's, Rooty's team to make on-field decisions. So I don't think, I don't think he'll, he'll struggle in, in any aspects, to be honest. I think one thing we have to encourage him as other players is to make sure he uses his own ability as a player as well. You know, sometimes um, captains can be quite shy of bringing themselves onto bowl or... Uh, there's other things going on that they don't want to take responsibility of that part of the game. But um, I think as players, we just need to encourage Ashley Stokes, now's your time to come on with the ball and make an impact. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I, I've got no doubts that, that Stokes will be brilliant at, at captaining England uh, for this one-off test match or two test matches, I don't know how long it, it will be. The dream ticket there is to be boarding a flight to Perth for a warm-up or wherever we're going ready for Brisbane and having this lot of fast bowlers fit and ready to go. That's sort of the aim for English cricket. Can we, can we go to Brisbane having Ollie Stone, 
Joff, Mark Wood, these sort of pace guys, Wokes, Curran, Broad, Anderson, ev- everyone fit, fresh, ready to go. And if we can do that, we've got a chance of winning there. I've done a lot of, of, of reading and talking about everything and uh, looking at cricket um, moving forward. I think the ECB will do a lot of work and have done a lot of work about opening pathways, really. And not, we're not just talking into the cricket team, the playing team. I think it's every aspect of, of the game that we, we love. Um, coaching, administration, journalism... Uh, physio, every every pathway, um, trying to sort of create opportunities in them. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I didn't hear what what Jimmy said, but I know Jimmy has um, done a lot of thinking and, and learning about that. And actually, I think it's it, it's been good to just open the conversation with everyone, hasn't it? And and people can admit that maybe they, their views were different or they've made mistakes in the past, but it is about moving forward and um, making sure that everyone is thinking in the right way in the future. Uh, 